thinkers, I'm Jess, a licensed therapist specializing in both mental health and addiction. I want to share with you what I use personally for my setup as a content creator. So the first thing I should share here is I'm in my living room. I actually live in a very small apartment complex, so I have to make do with what I have. I think a lot of you starting out is in a similar situation to myself, so maybe me sharing this will be motivation for you to either create your content or it'll spark some creativity on how to set up your little mini studio like I have. So the first thing for me to share is how do I record my videos? I record my videos on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. The reason I chose this phone specifically is because I already have it. It's a lot more cost effective for me to record the videos on my phone than buy a camera right now. At the time of me recording this video, I have 84 subscribers. As you can imagine, I'm not interested in big investment in my studio right now, considering I'm living in a small apartment. I'm making do the best I can, just like a lot of you out there are. If you think you need a big fancy camera to record your videos, you absolutely don't. You can use your phone. A lot of people start their YouTube channels just using their phone. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'll show you what I personally use to optimize using my phone to also have quality sound and what could look like a professional setup. And there's nothing about what I have that's very professional. I watch YouTube videos just like what you're doing right now to set up what I currently am using. Next is going to be the mic. So the first mic I used was a Loom Cube mic and we found that it had a lot of distortion. We're not exactly sure why the Loom Cube mic wasn't doing very well and had very heavy distortion. So it's okay if you get a mic and it doesn't work. This process is about trial and error. We found that a mic that I'd been using for a couple of years that I was using even for my podcast wasn't doing very well for my videos. So we needed to invest in a different mic. As a side note, I want to mention that I live in an apartment where the living room that I record in is a vaulted ceiling. So we also needed a mic that can combat the echo that was in my living room. I'm not really in a situation where I can put a bunch of sound boards everywhere to absorb the sound. So we found a mic to do a lot of the heavy lifting. I'm currently using the Tackstar shotgun microphone phone and I've found that it works great. Now to use it with my iPhone, I use a connector from the 3.5 millimeter that plugs into my lightning cable on my phone. All of the things I'm mentioning in this video are going to be linked in the description to help you decide what may or may not work for your own personal setup. For lighting, I do use a Loom Cube panel mini and the Loom Cube ring light. I have a diffuser panel because I have glasses. That's why I use two light sources. I need the light sources on either side of me so I don't have the glare coming up across my glasses from having the light source directly in front of me. There was a lot of trial and error with setting up this studio, and I hope this information is beneficial to you. Just know that your personal setup is going to be very unique for you, and it may be different than what I have, but maybe these tips and tricks will be helpful to you. Now lastly, I wanted to talk about the teleprompter I use. I am aware in some of my videos that I'm still grasping how to use the teleprompter feature without being too obvious with using it, but a lot of YouTubers use a teleprompter. It's just a skill I'm going to have to hone as I'm getting better at doing videos. The teleprompter I use is just kind of a hodgepodge of things that we put together. I have a magic arm on a tripod with a tablet holder holding up my tablet. I'll also link the website that I use for my teleprompter. It's free. If there's a suggestion that I could provide for using a teleprompter is to make sure that it is six feet back as close to eye level as it can be for you to read and not be too noticeable. Again, it's something I'm working on perfecting, but it's the best suggestion that I can give you right now to at least help you seem a little more seamless with using a teleprompter. There's nothing wrong wrong with using a teleprompter. You just have to find what blend you need to have for your videos. And that's what I'm working on for my videos. So what do you use for your setup? Is there anything that I missed? Let me know down in the comment section. If there's anything that you'd like to know and you'd like a little more explanation, I may make a video about it. So be sure to leave your suggestions in the comments as well. I also have a video that goes into more detail on how to remove lens glare from your glasses. If you're interested, click up here for that video. And as always, stay positive and take care of yourself.